Dioxin toxicity can occur if there is over ingestion of digoxin or if there are electrolyte imbalances like hypokalemia, hypomagnesemia, and hyper. Uh, this should be hypercalcemia because it, right. So it will be hypercalcemia, right? So hypokalemia, hypomagnesemia, hypercalcemia, right? Hy hyperkalemia actually can be a protective, right? Because I say digoxin combined uh, with uh, potassium, right? So if you have high concentration of potassium then you may be protected against the effects of digoxin toxicity right so other causes include uh, patients with a renal dysfunction uh, hypothyroidism because hypothyroidism lead to decreased glomerular filtration right uh, if you are taking displacers from the um, albumin so the displacers include verapamil quinidine amiodarone in case of advanced age and heart diseases this uh, will lead to low volume distribution of digoxin co-administration with potassium wasting diuretics like furosemide if you reduce potassium you are making the patient susceptible to digoxin, digoxin toxicity it can also occur in hypo uh, hypoxemia and this is very rare ingestion of plants containing cardiac uh, glycosides for example Digitalis lanata. I don't know if we have this in Zimbabwe. Right, so uh, diagnosis of uh, digoxin toxicity is mainly clinical, although you can have some in instrumental uh, methods, but clinical features will be anorexia, nausea and vomiting, headaches, fatigue, hallucinations, vision disturbances, photophobia, altered mental status right so this is uh the basics right so on ecg you can actually see atrioventricular junctional rhythm premature ventricular tachycardia bigeminal rhythms second degree av block and in the serum you can uh, actually find high level of digoxin next how do you manage digoxin toxicity first you need to abolish uh, this cardiac glycoside you stop giving the drug you can also give activated charcoal to prevent further intestinal absorption uh, cholestyramine this will prevent absorption and it will inhibit enterohepatic circulation uh, you can also give a drug containing potassium like potassium chloride or panangin you can give um, SH group uh, donators like uh, Dimecapro, uh, Unithio. You can also uh, give antiarrhythmic agents like phenytoin, lidocaine, propanolol, and you can give atropine for AV block. You can also give digoxin antibodies like digibinding. And then uh, glucose, vitamin preparation, and oxygen inhalation because if you remember i said hypoxemia can lead to toxicity so you need to reverse that as well right so in general if you are giving uh, a patient digoxin potassium preparations must be administered for prophylaxis against uh, digoxin toxicity digitalis in general digitalis is the mother the plant